two years ago during the transit referendum, I was really critical of the plan because it failed to take into account the impact of things like ride sharing and self-driving vehicles on transportation. I mean, the lack of vision, no pun intended, continues to be profoundly disappointing. Now, I could go on, but instead, I want you to listen to the findings of a new study out of MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory that illustrates the changes that should be coming to our system. The MIT study states, in quotes, Ride-sharing services are transforming urban mobility by providing timely and convenient transportation to anybody, anywhere, anytime. Of course, that's not the case in Vancouver, Victoria, or Kelowna. The study goes on to state that these services present enormous potential for positive societal impacts with respect to pollution, energy consumption, and congestion. Now, keep in mind, the Canadian Automobile Association just released a study that found that Vancouver is four of the worst bottlenecks in the country. And there's not a mayor in the lower mainland, starting with Vancouver, showing any leadership in getting ride sharing, let alone paving the regulatory way for self-driving cars and buses in the greater Vancouver. Now, I don't have time to go into all the details, but here's one of the conclusions of the MIT study you should be aware of. The study determined that the current 14,000 strong taxi fleet in New York City could be reduced to just 3,000 two-person ride sharing taxis while serving still 94% of the current demand with an average wait time of under three minutes, and here's the thing, and a reduction in congestion of about 300%. That is huge cost savings in terms of your time and pollution. It also reminds us of the cost of electing the technologically illiterate. My name is Mike Campbell. Tell me Saturday for Money Talks.